In this episode, I'll cover multiple examples on how to retrieve or read data from database. Let's call this uh, read from DB. So for this purpose, we are we're gonna use uh, the reader. So let's declare two readers for now. Uh, this variable will be OLEDB reader data reader. Yeah, and this. Just in case we want to, you know, like use the reader, uh, multiple readers in the same process. I'll just demonstrate it now. So before we start writing this code here, uh, Access Database is pretty cool, uh, you know, like query designer that you can use to quickly uh, generate SQL. For example, let's say that we want to uh, get all the states, the unique states from here. Either you can just drag this here and group them and just run this query. So you'll see this list, yeah? Uh, so if you go to uh, the SQL, you'll see this, uh, you know, um, SQL created. Or you can also say, um, select distinct state from client. That will basically return the same results like this, okay? Um, so if I get this SQL now and try to execute it from here, let's call this SQL this or SQL and let me copy this part. If the connection is open, um, we want to use this and then um, our DR1 is going to be um, Command dot uh, reader execute reader okay and then we will read the data. I'm gonna get rid of this while we'll look through the data um, dr one dot read and then we'll maybe just debug. Is uh, dr1 first field value. If it is string, if it is a number, then we can force it to be in the string in this fashion. Oops, sorry. Now let's add a button to do this. I'll put this label as read now. And when that button is clicked, we want to read. I mean, run this SQL system we just created. So this is our SQL. If the connection is open, then we want to. I think. Uh, it's going to open with this query and then it's going to execute reader. Uh, so up here we are executing non query. Okay, this one is the reader. Okay, that's the difference here. And then it's going to read the data and then it's going to look through these data points to the end. And then we're going to just print it out here in the output. Okay. Um, yeah, opening in debug mode. So these are the you know like unique state list. So if you go back here, run this. This is same list that we see here. Okay. Uh, let's try some more examples. We'll try linking multiple tables as well. I'm gonna set this. Now let's say that um, we want to bring in all the data from this table then we can just say select all or select you know asterisk means all from clients if i just run this now it's 
it's going to be one field, but it printed all the data set here, okay, from client 1 till 500. Um, so if you want to print multiple data, then we will replicate this string. Um, like two, three, four, five. Let's say we want to print five fields. Uh, one, two. Uh, or I think we can just. Okay, just ignore that. So the one, zero, one, two, three, four. So this will be five fields starting from zero to four. Um, this is again, and then we want to format them as well. So, say data, um, I'll just call this field, field one. I don't want to write the name for now, so I'll just say field one, and then here it's going to be zero. Let's put this here for now. Two, three, four, five. So this will be these values will be written to this format. Okay. So one, two, three, and four. Let's try and run this. Okay, so it's all showing field one, but you know, like this is client, um, the name, the company, uh, the address, and so on here. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to specify, for example, here, this is going to be a customer ID, and this is going to be first name, first name, last name, like that. So it will print, you know, like in this placeholder, this value will be printed. That's the idea here. Okay, so as you can see here now, the first name, last name, and so on is coming out here. So uh, using this data, you know, like that has been returned, you can populate this data. Maybe you can export it. You can uh, load it to Cumblebox, Data Grid. Um, you know, like uh, you can use it for anything. Uh, let's try more examples. Let's say that we want to link these two tables. Um, so again, we can, you know, like quickly generate this. Oops. Um, so you go from here as well. So these two are already linked. So if you double click here, you'll be able to see the join type. So here include rows where both, you know, I like bought the tables have this key. Yeah. Uh, if you want to do left or right, you know, like include all from clients, but uh, only the ones that are matching from the other table and so on. Now let's say that we want to just return the matching records from both tables. I'll just click on this one. Okay. Um, let's say that we want to generate um let's say we want to pull data for let's say certain date let's try um 2020 for this date yeah so i'll put a criteria here in the criteria let's put this date okay so it returned all, all this date uh now let's try and run this i'm gonna copy this or you can also straightforward write it from here. If you're already familiar uh, with the SQL, you can uh, easily write it from here. So select this fields from this table, from this table, and then the join is inner join type, and the key is customer ID, and the where condition is this, yeah, where the date is this. So even if you don't have these brackets, also, it's fine like this. It's so we're saying return all the data by linking these two tables using the customer ID, and then the filter is on the date. That is uh, 1016. Let's run this now. Um, 
Now here, the names are going to be different. So the first one is the customer ID. The second one is the date. And the third one is uh, amount. Just get rid of this for now. Zero one two. So all these are the data for 1016. Okay. Uh, now you can also specify, you know, like multiple criteria. Um, for example, here we're saying transition date is this, and then you can put more criteria. And uh, let's say clients. Let's say we want to bring in all the data for you know like this date and for the state of uh, state is equal to da maybe like that so if we go back to this and we can say so there's a state called da so we want to return all the data all the transactions for certain date but specifically for this this particular state only Let's run this. Okay, so these are for that particular state only. So if you look at this client here, C12, uh, all these clients, you can validate it manually as well by going here, but it, it will be working, okay? Um, now, one more thing I want to mention here is you can also put in parameters. Um, so instead of this DA or this date, you can specify um, a push mark like this. Okay, and then um, here you can put in the parameters of like this, uh, parameters.net. And then here you can specify the name and data type. So let's say we want to call this state. Um, and then uh, here you can specify the data type. Uh, all in the while in the we can just mention varchar, that will be it. And then we can say um You can also go by this format. Uh, if you if you just leave this as a question mark, also it's fine like this. Okay, um, and then dot value is equal to whatever value you want to specify. So earlier we were trying for DA. Let's now try and see other state. Let's say WA. So this value will be written here in this query. Okay. Um, okay, let's give it a try. So all these are uh, clients from the state of the TV and for this particular transaction. Data.